Hi Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those of you cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see what was your person's first impression of you. So what went through their mind the first time that they saw you? What was their initial thoughts here? This is going to be a general reading guys, please keep that in mind. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. Otherwise, let's go ahead and begin. bottom of the deck you have the world card here okay so as soon as this person laid eyes on you as soon as they locked eyes with you here this is someone who I feel like definitely wanted to approach you they wanted to come over they wanted to strike up a conversation they they saw in you they saw what they wanted here okay and it feels like this person definitely wanted to they didn't want to waste any time here, but it feels like they were very nervous. You had made them very anxious, he very nervous, and it feels like they they may have even because of this nervous energy here that fueled them, they may have even been talking really fast or saying a lot of things at once, and maybe you know they were muttering here, it just really wasn't making a lot of sense here. Maybe, you know, in their mind here it feels like they wanted there's so much that they wanted to um, talk to you about and there's so much so many questions that they wanted to ask you because I feel like this was someone who's, who was genuinely interested in getting to know you and very curious about you but it also feels like you made them so nervous that this person I feel like you know became tongue-tied or all the words were just coming out wrong here this person feels as though you were like a storybook character here you reminded them there was just something so poetic about you and about the moment that you, the, the two of you have met and laid eyes on one another it feels like you you reminded them of a, like a Disney character I feel or like um, a character out of a magazine out of a book here there was just something very fairy tale like about how the two of you met or your presence here or your aura there was definitely a light this person saw a light within you that they felt very drawn and very connected to, like a moth to a, uh, in, a moth or an insect to a flame. That kind of attraction here. You did get them very nervous. You did get them very tongue-tied here. But it feels like this person was... It, he or she kept tossing up the idea as to whether or not to approach you or what to say to you. Okay, it just felt like they were going back and forth. Should they approach you? And if so, what do they say? It just feels like they were very, very anxious here, very giddy, very excited as well. I also feel like the first time that they saw you, they were scared to touch you or they were scared to kiss you here or they were really scared to, to love you or to step a foot wrong here. This is someone who I feel like was, um, even though they may have approached you here, I feel I can see that this was someone who's a little bit slow in making a move or um, was very, this person doesn't feel like a fast moving energy, okay? And that's because I feel like when this person, you know, when initially they laid eyes on you, they thought that you're someone that they see themselves with okay they thought that you're someone that they could easily bring back to their parents and show off to their friends here um, you know they want they wanted something long term with you and they thought that you were 
uh, girlfriend or boyfriend material, marriage material here. They also love the way that you looked at them when you didn't think that they were watching, but they were. They loved the way that you smiled at them, I'm getting, because I feel like when this person looked up and you smiled, that's when they knew that you knew that there was something going on between the two of you here. They loved the way that as soon as you just walked up, walked into that room, that room light up, lit up, or their eyes lit up here, or your eyes lit up here. You've definitely changed their world. You turned their whole world upside down. And I feel like even being around you or even talking to you as anxious or as nervous as they were, you had this energy around you and it just sort of calmed them. It was just really, and they felt at peace. They felt very serene, you know, and they felt just very safe with you. They might have even opened up and told you things that they haven't told you before. There was a lot of uncertainty in their energy. Maybe, you know, they were not sure that you'd be interested in them or they, know, they weren't sure that, hey, there really was a vibe here. There was a little bit of uncertainty here, I'm seeing. Um, or maybe they were a little bit unsure, you know, opening their heart to you here. Or it just feels like you, you were a dream come true to them and they didn't think that they would ever experience a love like this in their lifetime. And that they would open up their heart the way that they have to you. They didn't necessarily believe in soulmates until they met you is what I'm seeing. I also feel like a part of them was really scared. But because maybe you were already in a relationship with someone else. Or you had just come out of a relationship with someone else. And you know this person didn't want to be the rebound guy or gal here. And they were very cautious here. They were also very cautious you know, to not disrespect you or overstep any boundaries. And they didn't want to be, you know, another option here. They wanted to be a priority, your number one. There was definitely a moment when this person looked at you and thought, yep, that's it, you're the one here. And I know I can see that they were a very slow moving energy, but they wanted to be sure this isn't someone who was in a rush. I mean, yeah, they were eager to get to know you and they were eager to build a misconnection, but this person didn't want to rush through the process. They wanted to take their time with you and they wanted to take the time with building the connection here. You've completely turned their world around. I feel like this is someone who's told you things they've never told any other soul out there. This is someone who has absorbed literally everything that you have said here and the two of you have shared so much together like hopes and dreams here and even some disappointments and uncertainties that life has thrown at you i feel like this person opened has opened up their heart to you even then even though they know that in the process they could get their heart broken there's a chance that you know they may regret it or get their heart broken but i feel like this is someone who wants to do he wants to do it all with you. This is someone who wants a future with you and who wants a life with you. And this is someone who's willing to be vulnerable and risk it all with you here. They're so glad that you did enter their life here. They're so glad that they had that first date with you. They had that, you know, that first encounter, that chance meeting with you. It took a while. I feel like I can see that there were a few bumps and hurdles in your journey with one another. And it really took a while here. But I feel like this is someone who's so glad. They're so glad that things turned out the way that they had. This person trusts you from what I can see. And they, it's so clear when the first of you, when the, when the both of you have met each other, to them it was so clear that they belonged with you here. Or that what they have with you was going to be entirely different here. It just, it feels a little bit unexpected, right? This connection and almost under some very strange circumstances that the two of you met. And even if they've never believed in 
coincident fate coincidence fate soulmates or just luck it definitely meeting you definitely made them believe in something because you know you you are the type of person that they you know imagined to have to be with you're the type of person that they've always wanted and they've always saw themselves with and all of a sudden they feel like they've dream, dreamt you into life they felt like you know they brought you out of their imagination and into reality here all right guys and these are your messages thank you as always for watching and listening please share your support by liking sharing and subscribing to the channel bye for now